Hey, what's happening, guys? Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to Rules for Rebels. Today, I have a uh, merch update for you and really kind of two main issues I wanted to talk about today. So uh, initially, I was going to make this video talking about why a lot of people are reporting seeing their shirts go back into processing. And that was actually going to be today's video. However, I, I woke up to a pleasant surprise this morning. I woke up to an email uh, stating that my Amazon ads or my, my Amazon AMS account had been approved. Um, so I started running my first ad set today as well. So I figured as long as we're talking uh, talking Amazon and let me fix this. As long as we're talking Amazon and Amazon merch, figure we kind of touch on that a little bit as well. So uh, maybe some of you guys are seeing this as well. A lot of people on the forums and things like that are reporting that they're seeing a lot of shirts going back into processing. So if you're seeing this, drop a comment below, kind of share with us what's happening with your account. Uh, there's potentially three reasons this is happening. Now, the first reason back on September 12th, if you check your Amazon merch dashboard, Amazon made the announcement that they're gonna be changing the link structure of shirts. They didn't really give a timeline in terms of when this was gonna start happening. They did say like every change, it's gonna happen on a rolling basis. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't really pay attention to the, to the link structure of shirts. However, when I was getting ready to go run one of my ad sets today, I happened to look at one of the links of one of my best-selling shirts, and I do believe it was a really short link. I, I do believe that they have changed the uh, the link structure of shirts. Um, I'm not positive about that, but I think at least one of my shirts, if not maybe the best sellers, um, are already on that new link structure. I'm pretty sure. Um, so that's one thing. Amazon did say in that announcement, you know, when your shirts do go under this change of the link structure, um, you know, your reviews and everything are going to be transferred along with the uh, the listing, but your shirt will go down and go into processing for a couple hours. So if you're seeing your shirts go into processing, that's one potential reason. The second potential reason you might be seeing shirts go into processing, it seems that Amazon is doing uh, a little bit more of a manual review of some shirts that have been up already for a long time. Um, I don't know if this is something they're doing leading up to Q4 or something like that. I don't know if they're trying to kind of clean up some, you know, either copycats or some shirts that that infringe on things. I know a lot of people, you know, when I'm doing research on Merchant Former, I see a lot of shirts with a lot of keyword spamming. I see a lot of shirts where people are like, super soft cotton t-shirt, large, extra large, small, you know, mentioning all the sizes, basically like everything we're not supposed to do. So um, I know Amazon on a couple occasions has told us to, you know, remove any descriptions of the actual shirt from the listings. Um, there's still a lot of listings up that still have those things. So I'm not sure if they're cleaning that up. Uh, but there are a number of people reporting that they're getting rejections and takedowns of shirts that have been up for six months, a year, a year and a half. So it does seem like Amazon is doing a little bit of a cleanup. There hasn't been any official announcement about that, uh, but enough people are talking about it that I think there's some truth to it. And then lastly, the, this hasn't really been announced. There was a little bit of buzz on some of the... Uh, um, what is it called? The, the Amazon developer forums or whatever. Uh, there's a really great woman on there named Elizabeth who works for Amazon and she tends to be really helpful and kind of share a lot of info. I don't know if it came from her. I saw this the other day uh, briefly. I've seen some other people reference it. And when I went back to go check this morning, uh, the link has been removed. So it, uh, essentially what's happening is um, if you have kid sized t-shirts on a shirt that's maybe of a somewhat inappropriate or adult-natured uh, subject matter, Amazon is starting to remove those t-shirts. Now, again, like I said, there was actually a discussion about this and a merch rep actually chimed in on the Amazon developer forums. Um, when I went to search for it this morning, I can see the, the link show up to it. I can see the little preview below it about why are my shirts being removed. Um, but when I actually click the link, it just takes me to a Google search page. So it seems like that's been taken down or the link's dead. But here's essentially what it is. Um, you know, let's say you have a shirt about whiskey or some shirt that's, you know, Amazon already, the terms of service is already pretty uh, pretty tame, right? Everything's supposed to be family friendly. Um, but you can kind of walk the line. If you have a shirt with like some sexual in innuendo, um, alcohol related, anything of an adult nature, um, a lot of people were, you know, a lot of people just knee jerk reaction is men's, women's, kids, just every shirt they put out, men's, women's, kids. And uh, I think Amazon, probably something about kind of like reputational harm to their brand or whatever. I think they don't really want adult natured shirts offered in kid sizes. Now, a lot of people have been arguing, well, there's a lot of, you know, small, petite men or women who are adults but need to shop for kid sizes and they should be able to do that. And, and that's all well and good. I'm sure there are some people who buy kid sizes, but um, it just looks bad when you see like an alcohol related shirt or something like that. And then it's offered in, in kid size. And I'll give you an example. There's two Amazon merch Reddit forums. There's one called R backslash Amazon merch. Um, 
that one's in my opinion, it's not perfect. I, I wish somebody would start another Amazon merch Reddit, but um, that's one of the better ones. You also have another one, R backslash merch by Amazon, and that one's kind of a total joke. It's like um, pretty much everybody, hey, will somebody please buy my shirt to get me out of tier 10? It's just a lot of shit posts, a lot of nonsense, um, and a lot of people, hey, review my shirt. Hey, what do you think about my shirt? And they're dropping links to their Amazon shirts. And I saw one the other day and some guy was like, hey, can you guys take a look at my shirt? And it was a two-sided shirt on the front left chest. There was like a peach and on the back, I forget what it was, but it was, it was basically some reference to like big booties or thick women or something. And he offered it and men's, women's and kids. And for anyone who thinks that like people don't notice this, like there were several comments on this Reddit thread, like, why are you selling a big booty, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm a big booty hoe, or, you know, it wasn't something that, that uh, you know, racy or whatever, but why are you selling this, like, big booty, peach booty shirt in kid sizes? Like, it just, you know, it, it just seems kind of weird. Now, Amazon does care about kind of reputational harm with merch. I don't know if it's because they're printing the shirts that they're a little bit uh, pickier about what goes on them, but I mean, think about it, on regular Amazon, you can sell weed shirts, you can sell drug-related shirts, people sell dab mats and rolling papers and all other types of stuff. Amazon doesn't really care about that, but when it comes to Amazon merch, you know, there's certain, they're a lot stricter on the content policies, there's a lot of stuff that they don't want to print, and I'm sure, you know, just from a reputational harm standpoint, they're like, uh, we really don't want people saying like, hey, Amazon is printing weed shirts. Um, so I think that's why this whole kids thing is happening. Uh, everybody who's reporting seeing this, it tends to be more kind of adult-related topic shirts that are being taken down. Um, and this is something I've always been kind of aware of. You know, I tend to play it pretty safe on Amazon, so there's very little that I do that would be like offensive or whatever. Uh, but on a rare occasion, I might make a shirt about whiskey or tequila or anything even remotely sexually suggestive. It's definitely not going on a kid's size shirt. Um, you know, regardless of whether adults shop for those or not, it just doesn't look good in my opinion. So I've always stayed away from that. But that is the third reason uh, why you could see your uh, your shirts going into processing. Amazon is removing. They're not taking down your shirt entirely, but they are removing kid sizes from it. So as far as these three reasons, uh, the one confirmed one is uh, the change in the link structure that Amazon has um, essentially told us about. The other two are a little bit more tinfoil hat theories. The, the removing kid shirts thing, um, that actually was addressed by an Amazon rep. And then as far as uh, kind of cleaning up some uh, shirts for Q4, that, that's kind of just something that we're kind of reading into there. Um, in terms of AMS ads, so let's talk about that a little bit. So I the first day, I think it was September 12th that Amazon announced AMS ads were rolling out. Um, I checked the bottom of my page. I had that code, was really excited. I'm never in the first wave of anything rolling out went over, uh, signed up for everything. I already had an Amazon uh, AMS account from back when I was doing Kindle books or selling on the KDP platform. So for those of you guys who are in my situation, you know we had a little bit of a different sign up process. You had to go create a second Amazon account and then sign that one for Amazon and then link it to a brand. Uh, so went through all that. Immediately after doing it, I, I within like minutes, I got the two confirmation emails, clicked those, confirmed. And I was thinking within a matter of hours or maybe a day or two, I should probably get my final confirmation email. Because in the instructions, they tell you, you get two emails to confirm your email um, and then followed by one last one to, to confirm your account has been reviewed and is is up and live. So uh, it's, I finally got that this morning. So the 12th to today, it's, it's been what, about two weeks, give or take a couple days. Um, finally got that email, went, set up my first ad sets this morning. You guys know I, I made a couple videos when they first rolled this out. Like, I'm not super excited about this. I know people were already running ads before. I think this is is going to kind of encourage a race to the bottom, but what the heck, I'm, I'm willing to give it a try, and if everyone else is doing it, maybe I'll, I'll have to do it to compete. Uh, one thing I was kind of wondering about, and I'd love to have your guys' take, is I was questioning, should I run ads for my best-selling T-shirts and try to really spur those sales even bigger? Should I run ads for my worst-selling t-shirts and try to get those up? Or should I pick the stuff that, that's kind of in the middle and see if I can get those kind of up to the level of my, my best-selling shirts? Um, I, I kind of did a little bit of each to kind of see how it plays out. There's three different types of ad structures that you can set up. Uh, I'm doing sponsored ads. Um, in terms of the recommended uh, ad spend per click, um, I believe they recommended or suggested that it would be between five cents and 71 cents. Um, I think they recommended 31 cents, so I set mine at 31 cents. Uh, I'm running an ad for two weeks and I'm gonna be spending $5 a day and I've selected four t-shirts to run them on. 
Um, if you guys have any confusion with getting these set up, feel feel free to come back to this video and, and ask me. I had a little bit of trouble. Um, I've always had trouble with my ad accounts. They always say that my, my payment method isn't up to date, um, even though I have credit cards on file. So that gave me a little bit of a glitch. I had to go through that a couple times this morning. Um, let's see, after that, um, Mine, you know, where you actually set the ad, you can type in a keyword or you can put in an ASIN number. For some reason, when I was putting in ASIN numbers, it wasn't recognizing the shirt. So what I was having to do is go back to my Amazon account, copy and paste the title of a shirt, plug it in, and typically only my shirts would show up on a rare occasion if somebody else had a similar title, theirs might show up. Uh, but I'd, check the re I'd either check the ASIN or check the amount of reviews, confirm that that was my shirt, and then put them live. So again, I'm running, f uh, one ad set, four different t-shirts, gonna be running for two weeks, five bucks a day, spending 31 cents. So, um, you know, maybe a week from now, I'll make a video and kind of talk about how that's working out, how well it's converting, um, if I'm profitable or if I'm wasting more money than I'm making. Uh, but that's really all I got for you guys today. Wanted to A, talk about the uh, the shirts going into processing, and then B, I just got on uh, Amazon AMS ads. Um, I was a little bit worried, you know, because I had to do this alternate, al uh, alternate sign up method, I was kind of worried maybe I goofed something up or I wasn't going to be approved because it was taking a lot longer than I expected. I was seeing a lot of other merchers um, talking about running their ads already and stuff. So if, if you're still waiting, just be patient. It seems like they're taking a little bit longer, but that's all I really got for you guys today. If you guys got anything else you want to discuss, anything you want to add, drop a comment in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, Rules for Rebels signing out.